Dirt, the Scoop on Soil. Written by Natalie M. Rosinski, illustrated by Cherie Boyd. Dirt, the Scoop on Soil. Here are the ta table of contents. What is dirt made of? It's alive. Keeping dirt healthy, depending on dirt. Experiments. Fast facts. Topsoil terrors. Glossary. To learn more. And index. What is dirt made of? Dig deep. Unearth some dirt. Hold it in your hand. Dirt is a mix of different parts of nature. Crumbling rocks make up dirt. Wiggling worms and scurry bugs live in dirt. Rotting plants and bones are part of dirt, too. Fun fact! Dirt covers almost every place on Earth. Sometimes you can't see the dirt because it's covered by grass, buildings, roads, or water. Soil. A word in the story is soil. Soil is another word for dirt, like in a garden or in the ground. Let's say the word soil together. Ready? Soil. When you say soil, I hear a s sound at the beginning of a word. Look, soil begins with the letter S. Here is a picture that shows soil. These are carrots growing in dirt or soil. Here is another picture of soil. How does this picture show the meaning of soil? These kids are playing in the soil. I wonder how many syllables are in the word soil. Let's find out by clapping. Ready? Soil. One syllable. Now you can say soil three times while clapping the syllables with your hands. Ready? Soil. 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 Soil is another word for dirt. Put some soil into a big glass jar and fill it with water. Stir and wait. The soil will separate into layers. Humus, clay, silt, sand, rocks and pebbles. Rocks and pebbles fall to the bottom because they're the heaviest. A lot of soil is made of rock. Fun fact. Dirt is so interesting that soil scientists study it every day. Sand, silt, and clay are all tiny pieces of rock that make up soil. The layer on top of the rocks and pebbles is sand. Grains of sand don't fit closely together. Water runs quickly through the spaces between them. That's why sand is so dry and why sand castles crumble so fast when waves crash over them. Silt is like sand, only silt's grains are smaller. Grains of silt fit more closely together and hold more water. Silt makes up the layer of, on top of the sand. Soft, sticky clay has even smaller grains than silt. You may need a microscope to see grains of clay. Clay is almost like powder. Clay is what made the water in your jar turn cloudy. You might see flecks floating on top of the cloudy water. That's the dark and gooey part of soil, called humus. Humus is made from rotting plants, leaves, wood, and animal matter. Sticky humus helps hold the rocky parts of soil together. Humus is rich with food that plants need to grow green and tall. A word in this story is decompose. Decompose means to break something down into smaller parts. Let's say the word decompose together. Ready? Decompose. When you say decompose, I hear a d sound at the beginning of the word. Look, decompose begins with the letter D. Here is a picture that shows decompose. This apple is decomposing. It is breaking down into smaller parts. Here is another picture of decompose. How does this picture show the meaning of decompose? This pumpkin is breaking down into smaller pieces. 
it is decomposing. I wonder how many syllables are in the word decompose. Let's find out by clapping. Ready? Decompose. Three syllables. It's alive. There are millions of creatures that live in soil. Beetles, sow bugs, millipedes, and worms wriggle and crawl through the dirt. Other creatures are so small that you can't see them. These soil creatures are called decomposers. Decomposers make humus. They eat dead plants and then leave droppings. The droppings are like vitamins for the plants that grow in soil. Animals can make soil better for plants in another way. Squiggling worms, trailing snails, slithering snakes, and burrowing rabbits loosen the soil as they crawl through it. They make holes in the soil that let air and water reach the roots of thirsty plants. Keeping dirt healthy. Humus, water, and air are usually found in the upper layers of soil. This layer of soil is called topsoil. It is the best soil for planting. The roots of plants hold topsoil together. Plants and trees cover topsoil so it won't get blown away by wind or carried off by rain. The loss of topsoil is called erosion. When topsoil erodes, plants have no place to grow. A word in this story is depend. Depend need means to need. Let's say the word depend together. Ready? Depend. When you say depend, I hear a d sound at the beginning of the word. Look, depend begins with the letter D. Here's a picture that shows depend. A soccer player needs to depend on their team to win. Here is another picture of depend. How does this picture show the meaning of depend? This baby depends on grown-ups to take care of it. I wonder how many syllables are in the word depend. Let's find out by clapping. Ready? De pend. Two syllables. Now can you say depend three times by clapping the syllables with your hands? Depending on dirt. Dirt keeps us alive. Without dirt, plants cannot grow. Without plants, animals cannot eat. Without plants and animals, people would have no food. Dig into dirt, pile it up, and stomp it down. Let it squish between your toes. Let it sift between your fingers. As you walk along, remember all those incredible bits of nature holding you up. Here are some experiments that you can do with your family at home. Pause the video and have an adult read you some of the experiments. Here are also some fast facts. Pause the video and your parents or your family can read you these fast facts. Here are some questions to think about during the day or if you find yourself talking about dirt with your family. Why is it important to keep soil so healthy? And what can we do to keep soil healthy?